Hello everyone, I'm Pentagon Press Secretary Kingsley Wilson and welcome to the DOW's weekly Situation Report. This week, Secretary Hegseth visited the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, to meet with executives there and industry experts. He also remotely flew a Black Hawk helicopter, which was sitting on a runway more than 250 miles away. On Monday, Under Secretary for Research and Engineering, Emil Michael, unveiled six critical technology areas that will define the future of American military superiority. These areas represent the cutting edge of research and engineering, designed to deliver immediate and tangible results to the warfighter and to ensure the United States remains the most lethal fighting force in the world. On Tuesday, our Marines assigned to the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit conducted a reconnaissance and surveillance exercise in Puerto Rico while deployed in the Caribbean in support of SOUTHCOM to stay ready and dominate in any terrain. Secretary Hegseth also sat for an interview with One American News Network to discuss the culture shift at the Pentagon since January and our military's actions to stop narco-terrorists in the SOUTHCOM area of responsibility. I also want to take a moment to recognize Marine veteran and coal miner Steve Lipscomb, who lost his life earlier this month while looking after the safety of his crew at the Rolling Thunder coal mine in West Virginia. Lipscomb joined the Marines shortly after the September 11th attack and was part of the first wave of Marines to take part in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Lipscomb was also a Purple Heart recipient. He is a hero and we will never forget him. That's all we have for you this week. Thanks for watching. God bless you all and God bless this great country we call home.